just your basic woodland trail, I discovered. It's kind of one of the internal trails that takes us through the town forest. All right. Still haven't figured out where I'll end this. From my little perch down there, it was a little mysterious exactly where the blazes were, and I was filled with doubt. But these doubts soon resolve themselves with another well-placed blaze. Right at the rise point. We're heading to the top of another little esker. buzz is really starting to overtake the road wish 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 and you'll find cool little vernacular trails heading off this way and that this one has old fading yellow blazes we're walking along Looks like another bit of Charles River Cane Terrace or something. Deep bowls. Wackish. The main trunk trail is pretty readily discernible. And of course, on an obscure snoozing Tuesday, there's no one to be seen. It's very quiet here. Yeah, it's a very intricate little array of eskers, outwash plain stuff. There's another handy blaze. Yeah, who knew that you'd find such interesting post-glacial terrain still alive and well. Here in eastern Massachusetts, so close to the depredations of suburbia and urban ambition. Now we're going down into another little dell. Boulder erratics, mere pebbles to a glacier, the plaintive cry of a late summer blue jay, or is it midsummer? I go through yet another one of these never ending Yankee stone walls. Perhaps an old forest fire access road. It's a little close for a moment, but then it opens up. And once again, we're at a key turn. One route heads off through a stone wall opening, and the other 
sends the Oscar. Up we go. The other seems to head down to some wet meadow areas. Wow, this would be a big challenge for the trail runner circuit, although it looks like the trail is kind of vulnerable to erosion problems. It's not something you'd want to pummel with mountain bikes. Yeah, there's the low road. Interesting routing he's got here. These people have really put a lot of thought into making a fun system. Ah, bicycle tires. <laughs> Not a lot though. The saving grace of these places is how they get overlooked. People think of distant wilderness challenges, Katahdin, whatever. So they don't actually stress all this stuff right in their own doorstep. Whenever you're a little doubtful, the blaze appears. Here as we rise to the top of the Esker. Nice little height. Little birch. Reasonably evening, with a little bit of a scent. And there we are at the height of land. This is easily one of the tallest little eskers I've been on in my various New England esker explorations. Yep, indeed, this is one of the best eskers I've run across yet. Very impressive. Sleeping quietly in the Wellesley Town Forest. It's probably too big to ruin for gravel harvest. So there it was. It just stayed put through these long years. The ascent beckons, as the ascent beckoned. And there you have the descent of an amazing Esker. On we go. Who knew? The landscape architect, Ian McCarg, thought Massachusetts the most interesting landscape any place in his experience. So he was from Scotland. And now we descend the Oscar. And I think I figured out my game plan for getting out of here. Hardly here. Motor vehicles at all. The bugs are very loud. Up. And there's a comforting blaze. A blaze in and a blaze. Yeah, 
This is definitely a very impressive Esker system. Who knew? And this thing, all you gotta do is take the green line, the little trolley, out to its terminus point at Riverside Station. Ride Shanks Mare a ways, and before you know it, connect it to the woods. The Wellesley trail map I got was pretty good. Better resolution than the faint gibberish offered by Google. And it particularly allowed me to figure out <coughs> which one I wanted to take. Ah, now this will further follow the Esker system where I understand it rises even higher. The total height of this one's around 160 feet if you follow that trail there. Now the question of course, it doesn't appear that we have the blazes for the link trail, so I'm guessing we're going down here. And I bet you, oh yes, oh god, <laughs> they're, they're telepathic, I see it. Yep, that's right, down there. It's as if the minute you hove to and begin to wonder where it went, there it is. Talk about economy. And we have a motor noise restoration, so we are returning to what passes for civilization. Ah, somehow we're back on the old Wellesley Town Red Blaze Charles River Trail. Good to know. Okay, we have a funny little fork, but I think one of these forks is most likely some kind of vernacular trail or Continuation of the little Esker trail system. Let's see, did I pick the right one? Oh, I see. It looks more like it's just a evolution of fixing mud problems or something. And over here we have a pond. Side road. We'll visit that another day. Back up. Oh yeah, there we go. There's our blaze. As if we were headed to Newton. Back up the thing. All right. So yes. <coughs> as ever. Thanks to Denny and the thoughtful people who crafted this thing. We're on the right track. I haven't been able to get lost yet, and I'm increasingly doubtful that I will. Oh well. <laughs> Slippery. These eskers are the outwash beds of subglacial streams. This thing I'm walking on had a mile of ice on top of it, and as the ice rotted away, it created channels of water pressure for these subglacial streams. When all the ice was gone, these things were left as funny ridges. Up in Maine, they call them whalebacks. Up oh, the blaze indicates we head this way which is probably the parking lot. The ever important parking lot into the entire Wellesley Town Forest Conservation Area System. <laughs> <laughs>